Hi everyone, my name is Steph and welcome to Kid Lit Joy. Today I'm going to be talking about some procedural narrative texts. So last week I went on a massive hunt to try and find some procedural texts that weren't just straight up recipes and regular sort of instructional texts for my class because we are moving into a procedural text writing unit and I wanted to have some variety because don't get me wrong, having recipes and having Lego instructions and having craft and drawing instructions are really, really important procedural texts to have available and kids love them. But I also wanted to have something that's a little bit fun in case we decided to get creative with our procedural writing. So to that end, I've come across, how many is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine books that I'm going to share with you. One of them is a series that has probably 10 books all on its own in it. I only ended up collecting four of them. And that is the How To series by Adam Wallace. So I think, are these all illustrated by the same person? Yes, so they're all illustrated by Andy Elkerton. And they're really fun stories about catching you know, magical creatures. So there is how to catch the tooth fairy, how to catch a monster, how to catch a unicorn, and how to catch a dragon. In all of these stories, all of the magical creatures are trying to escape being caught. Depending on the story, it might have a human narrator who is trying to catch the mythical creature. In the case of the how to catch the tooth fairy, it is the tooth fairy who is narrating the story and escaping all of the traps that she normally has to navigate when she goes to collect people's teeth and they are really fun. They aren't straight up procedurals but they would be great mentor texts for starting to think about a procedure and how you might catch these particular creatures. You can get all sorts of different versions of this story by Adam Wallace. They are all great. I completely forgot that Adam Wallace is an Australian author but this series seems to be really really popular. There are so many books in the series so there's an option there for everyone. Another Australian author is Christopher Francis and this is How to Sneak Your Monster Into School and this is about a boy who is trying to sneak his monster into school and this one has steps in the story as well as you know little notes to remember. So step one and then don't forget or remember or be aware of all of the things that could go wrong when you try to implement that step. So this one is 22 important steps that you need to sneak your monster into school. And this is fun and clever and uh, one that kids will probably really enjoy because the monsters in here look like monsters. The next two are both by Jane Regan. So there is how, we, how to babysit a grandma and how to babysit a granddad. I think in some places in the world this is how to babysit a grandpa, but mine is granddad. I don't think there's any change except for the word in the title. And both of these are about children who are being cared for by their grandparents, but to their minds, they are babysitting their grandparents. And it is all about how to keep them occupied and entertained throughout the stay. This one is really clever because the actual how-to is threaded through the narrative. So you have the narrative, but then at different points, you'll actually have the how-to. So this one's how to keep a grandma busy. And it just has a list of all of the things that you could do to keep a grandma busy. The same thing happens in how to babysit a granddad. And these were both really delightful and fun and very relatable for children. I think perhaps my true favorite of the series in terms of being procedural texts that would be great to actually share with kids to talk about what a procedure actually is. The first one is How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth. This one is by Michelle Robinson and Kate Hinley. And this is about a child who is trying to give a bath to a woolly mammoth. It has steps, it has figures, it has diagrams. It is a really funny and cute story about this child trying to wash this mammoth. And the procedure is interspersed with the narrative and it was just a really, really great reading experience. And then the other one that I absolutely loved is Caring for Your Lion. This one is by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Troy Cummings. The way that this one is set up is that a lion is delivered to a young boy who has asked for a pet cat but they're out of pet cats so he gets sent a lion and he's given steps for how to care for his lion so the steps are up the top there's little diagrams for what to do and then you have the picture narrative about what actually happens when trying to care for his lion it is funny the illustrations in this are just gorgeous and bright and colorful and i really enjoyed exploring this one i think this one and how to wash a woolly mammoth are going to be the two that I probably use as mentor texts when teaching and the other ones I'm going to, we'll read for enjoyment but we'll also have available in the class library for the kids to read. Really great series of books. I'm really glad that I read all of them. I didn't know that there were this many procedural narratives out there and I'm always on the hunt for more because clearly I do not have enough of them. I will leave a list of all of these books down in the description so that if you are interested or you forget which titles are which you can go and grab them in the description. I would be really interested in knowing if you have any procedural texts that you like to use with students, particularly narrative procedurals. That is a new found area of interest for me. Otherwise if you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a line emoji down below. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.